Hi guys, it's Magaz here and welcome to CBMPC TV. Today I'm going to be bringing you a super quick tech video. So a user on the Zero In Airsoft forums by the name Cropolite mentioned that they've been searching seemingly forever for a replacement slide for their Glock 23F and nothing seems to exist anywhere. And they asked, can they put a Glock 19 slide onto the Glock 23 as essentially it appears the same. So I have here a KWA Glock 19 and a KWA Glock 23F. Now, first of all, I apologize for this horrendous silver filed down slide here. That wasn't me, that was a previous owner. I would never be so nasty and sacrilegious to a Glock 19. Moving quickly on from that, the initial thoughts are it might fit. Well, I don't see why it wouldn't fit, but I don't think it will operate. So the difference for those who don't know between a 19 and a 23F is the 19 is semi-automatic only, the 23F is select fire, semi and full automatic using this fire selector. Uh, it's also compensated in the top of the slide as you can see at the front. What I'm going to do right now is make sure both pistols are completely clear and there are no rounds in the chamber. Then I'm going to strip both of them down so we can investigate the internals to see if they match up. So, first of all, nothing in the Glock 19, nothing in the Glock 23. So to strip a KWA Glock, basically you have to make sure it's charged so the striker's back. You pull down on these two lugs here and the whole slide just comes free. So we'll put the 19 on this side, and we'll do the same with the 23, and we'll take a closer look. You can see straight away that the 23 has all this shit going on here with the fire selector. So it actually has an extra slit on this side, which connects to this little tang on the frame. So the 19 does not have that at all. And this flap thing, I'm not sure the actual technical name for this. So for lack of a better word, we'll call it the flappy thing is much wider on the 19 than it is on the 23 and also the blowback unit is just flat and flush with the entire rear working mechanism whereas on the uh, the 23 it seems to have more of a groove here and it's it's kind of rounded like this so i don't know if say we put the 19 slide on the 23 frame if it will even cycle or if the trigger will even pull. So what we're going to do is get rid of the 19 frame and the 23 slide. And we're gonna try and attach the 19 slide to the 23 frame. Now, I, I don't think there's gonna be any issues with this actually going together. So, ah. Straight away, the slide has gone on and it's locked into place. It's not gonna come loose, which is good, but you can't actually rack it. I'm assuming it's something to do with that little tang that sticks up there, which is what activates the full automatic witchcraft of the 23. So, yeah. Oh, and pulling the trigger doesn't actually release the striker, which again, I think is something to do with that tang, because if we disassemble this again, so the Glock 19 frame, when everything's locked back and ready to go, if you pull the trigger, it just releases the striker, which is fine. But the 23, no such magic. You actually have to knock this little thing here forwards for it to release the striker. So I think the fire selector must sit up under this and actually hold it in place. So that, ow, that actually caught my thumb, nice. So straight away, we can answer the question, can you put a 19 slide on a 23 frame with? Yes, you can, but it won't do anything. Out of curiosity, let's take the 19 frame and the 23 F slide and see if the reverse is possible. So it goes on, locks into place and the slide actually reciprocates which is straight away we're one step ahead of the other combination so let's put it onto fire so it's in semi-automatic there's nothing in the chamber 
and let's pull the trigger. Now we've definitely got something there, but it's significantly quieter. Yeah, it usually has much more of a significant click. Now let's try it in automatic. Ah, that's interesting. So watch the fire selector there. Jumps into what KWA uses term the dead man's click position, which is generally nothing happens. Oh, wait. That's interesting. Normally, when the fire selector is in this position, it won't drop the hammer. So, out of curiosity, let's put it in semi-automatic. This is a KWA Glock 19 magazine loaded with TPP propane. Let's put it in there, charge it, it's still clear. Nothing. Let's try it on automatic. Nope. Right, one last try, let's try it on the dead man's click position. Oh, it made a bit of a pop noise and like there was some gas coming out. I think it's not hitting hard enough. So let's disassemble this now. And just to make sure everything's still in working order. 23 frame, 23 slide. See, can you, can you hear the... There's a much louder click, so let's put the magazine in. That's fine. And then the 19. Well, that smells like burnt pickled onion crisps. And that is very interesting because prior to putting this slide on this gun and messing about, that would fire. Now, it seems to me that that just hit the back of that and vented all the gas straight through it, which is very interesting. I'm guessing that answers the question that the parts are not interchangeable. Well, some aesthetic parts will be. Sights, magazine releases, and takedown levers, for instance, definitely are. I know for a fact you can put a Glock 17 barrel in a Glock 18 and vice versa, because I've done that. I run my Glock 18 with a Glock 17 in a barrel in there for reasons. But for the Glock 23 and Glock 19, it's I don't think that's gonna happen. The parts are not interchangeable. So unfortunately, to uh, Karopolite, you're gonna have to try and find a Glock 23 slide. Or the other question that they asked was, can you put the parts from this, like the blowback unit in there? It might work that way, because all this will be in there and all the actual blowback parts from the blowback unit that make it work will be in there. The only thing is you will have to actually cut a hole into here somehow and then there's no guarantee that it's going to work and then you've got a Glock 19 slide with a gaping hole in the side that nobody's going to want. So I'd say your best bet might be to either just buy a new Glock 23 or just keep scrounging about to see if you can find another slide. So hopefully you've got a little bit of information from this video. So if you've got any other questions, let me know. Uh, for now, I'm a guys. This has been CBMPC TV. Thanks for watching. And remember kids, the air may be soft, but our balls are hard. And now kind of smell like burnt monster munch. For the record, this stuff is disgustingly smelly.